Hi everybody, it's Julia, your trusted travel expert, helping you find that je ne sais quoi wherever you are in the world. And that's very easy for me to do today because I am coming to you from the beautiful capital city of Alsace, Strasbourg. Um, if you can, can't tell by the amazing uh, architecture, half to have architecture behind me. And so since I'm here and I've been in the Alsace region for the last uh, couple days, I wanted to give you a little destination spotlight on the region and let you know um, how you can visit it and what you should look for and some of the fun things uh, that you can find in Alsace. Uh, so Alsace uh, is the sort of western or eastern border of France with Germany between sort of the Vosges Mountains and the um, Rhine River and of course this region went back and forth between France and Germany over the years and over all the different wars um, but finally Louis the 14th or Louis yeah Louis the 14th took it from Germany and basically it's been French ever since then with exceptions for the two world wars, obviously, um, and for a section after the Franco-Prussian War. But regardless, it is part of France now. Um, and even though they, the Alsatian language, the local dialect is apparently a German dialect, everyone speaks French and it is officially French. It's a part of France. Um, and it is, because it's right on the Rhine, it's really easily visited uh, by Rhine river cruises. Like I'm on a river cruise right now, with Ama Waterways, and we have spent the last two days exploring Alsace. You leave Switzerland, Basel, north of northern part of Switzerland, head the Rhine, and on the German side, you have the Black Forest, which is also a fabulous region. And on the um, west side of the Rhine, you have Alsace. And so, like, we went to an adorable little village, one of les plus villages du France, uh, the little designation for beautiful villages of France. It was called Riquevier, and Riquevier was just this adorable, picture perfect. Hansel and Gretel village with all half timber houses, super brightly colored, um, lots of yummy food and wine. It's obviously Alsace is famous for its wine, its um, Rieslings. We had some lovely Pinot Gris as well, and um, Gewurztraminer is another wine that they feature in uh, Alsace region. Um, it's delicious stuff, and we did some wine tasting in Riekvier. They have wine tasting all over that little um, village it was our city it's a city technically um, and it was delicious and really fun and we all wish we had a lot more time in that cute little village luckily we have today here in Strasbourg where we have plenty of time and we were able to walk around and see Le Petit France that I'm in right now these are tanneries it's the old tannery quarter so you see the building behind me has um, uh, an open roof because they would treat the leather with like urine or feces and it would smell horrible and so it would vent out the roof. Um, other lovely things about this adorable neighborhood uh, we learned on our tour uh, with it was that this little island of Strasbourg, which is sort of the very central old part of Strasbourg, was also where um, prostitutes live and people were treated for syphilis. Even with all this colorful uh, history, it's actually a wonderful place to visit. There are lots of cute shops, great restaurants. I just had a wonderful kind of Swiss dish, actually called Rusti, um, which is basically like potatoes and cream and bacon and cheese, and it was delicious. Um, Flammenkuchen. They have a lot of sort of dishes all in this area that involve a lot of bacon, cream, potatoes, and cheese in lots of different forms. It's great. Um, uh, and then obviously the, the big attraction in Strasbourg is that direction and that's the cathedral, which is uh, I think one of the tallest cathedral, Gothic cathedrals in the world. Um, ironically, it only has one spire, one tower uh, to it. So it sort of looks a little lopsided, but it's a beautiful church and has this amazing astronomical clock inside that's 200 and something years old and it still works and it is still accurate from everything, the date and the time, obviously a clock needs to have that, but it also does, you know, astrological symbols, um, the lunar calendar. I mean, it's it's insane, it's a marvel. And Ama got us tickets to see the big show that goes on at 12.30 here in Strasbourg. And you see like, there's like a video that they show before that explains the clock and the history of the clock. And then you watch the little, it's a mechanical clock. So in, in, in on top of, you know, keeping the time and keeping the moons and all that good stuff. There are little figurines, you know, the 12 apostles rotate around Christ and he gives a little benediction. It's all like mechanical and there's a rooster that crows, you know, three times. So it's really, really cute. Um, but also Strasbourg does have some modern things. It's the home to the parliament for the EU. 
Um, so it is a, a pretty big modern city. It doesn't look like it from where I'm standing because these are, you know, the really cute historic old buildings, but it does obviously have the creature comforts that you would want from a modern city. And um, so those are just two places in Alsace that I'm getting to visit on this river cruise. But actually Colmar is another really famous city. It's only, um, it's like kind of right between the two. Um, and that's a really popular place to go visit. And there's just, I mean, just even renting a car and driving around for a couple days, wine tasting um, and, and exploring all these really cute half timber villages would be a fantastic trip. Um, you could combine it with the Black Forest if you really wanted to get your Hansel and Gretel on um, half timbered houses and go crazy with cuckoo clocks and storks and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, it would be a really fun trip. Or you could also take a river cruise, which you would just pass through this region. Um, so you sort of have to depend or decide how much cuteness you can take on one particular trip. Um, but I really wanted to uh, give you guys a, a quick little peek into Alsace and let you know that it is, even though it's sort of a corner. Um, of France. It's one of my favorite parts of France. It's so beautiful and it's culturally so interesting because it had the exchanges with Germany over the years. Uh, so that's it for this week and I'll have more for you next week. Bye-bye.